in this example, we want to write and draw the electron configuration for molybdenum, which is element 42. Just as a reminder, to write one means that we're going to use things like 1s2, 2s2, and to draw means that we will put our electrons as little arrows. That one needs a little help, but should look something like this. So when we look at this, we need to remember the rules of the order in which these are filled. You might remember seeing a diagram that looks like this in our previous videos. So that just kind of showed up. So basically what we see here is for every n shell, so those are the big numbers here, we add one additional orbital as we go. And so the order in which these are filled is on the diagonals. So the 1s followed by the 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s, and so on and so forth. Now, you need to memorize this so you can use it on our exam. But we remember that they are filled in this order. The other way we can remember this is by understanding where they are in a periodic table. So if we have a periodic table that looks like this, we know that we fill them as you go across row one, two, three, etc. So as long as you know that the 3D is in the fourth row, you should be able to figure these out. So when we look at molybdenum, element 42, which is roughly here-ish in your periodic table, we're going to go ahead and start by writing these out, where we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, oops, 3d10, 4p6, ooh, getting close on space, 5s2, 4d4. So these are all of those and so we need to ask ourselves does molybdenum break the rules? And it does so we're actually going to change this to be 5s1 4d5. Now this will make more sense when we draw the electron configuration because the reason it happens is to have five or six equivalent shells. So we're going to have the 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s, I'm actually going to move that down into the next row so we can look at those all together. So now as we start putting in our 42 electrons, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10. So what you just saw was Hun's rule where in equivalent orbitals, they space out so that each one has an electron. Then we have this. And we use Hun rule, Hun's rule in any set of parallel orbitals or degenerate orbitals. So now we get here. So we probably, as we did on the first part, would have started with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or that would have given us 42. But this electron here, we're going to promote it here to where we get this. Oops, we forgot one. So what this says is instead of having a full s orbital and four out of 5d orbitals, we're going to promote an electron from the 5s. So this is not a rule follower. There are several of them. They tend to have both four, eight, or nine in the d orbital. So you can look at the periodic table to figure those out. 